us question of the week. Excellent. So we have to talk about first, what is the genre of this story? The type of this story? And I know. Author. I know. Writer of this story and then question of the week. Miss, can I tell you? Oh, me too. Okay. First of all, let's start with the genre of this story. Who can tell me what is the genre of this story? Jenna. Not huh, Jenna. Um, fiction tells the story of imaginary people and events as you read. Notice how the character makes up his own world. Excellent. So now the genre of this story is fiction. Who can tell me what does it mean fiction? Is it a real story or from no, imagination? No, imagination. It's, it's an imaginary, imaginary story. Excellent. So fiction, it means it's a imaginary story. Imaginary story, which means that from my imagination. So the whole thing, the characters, the story, the events, all of it are fiction, which is from my imagination. They are not real. Okay. And then who is the author of the story, Amal? Who's I the don't have my book. Okay. So I know, Miss Maria. Paul Fleshman. Fleshman. Paul. Mm -hmm. So we have Paul Fleshman. Paul Fleshman is the writer of this story. Question of the week, hi Tala. Tina, anybody? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Of the week is what? Question of the week. Let me just. Wait. Okay, no, no. I know. How yes. do people adapt to difficult situations? Excellent. How can people adapt to different or to difficult situations? To difficult situations this is the question that we are going to focus on while we are going to read how can people adapt to difficult situations when they face it in life for example you are moving from one city to another city or you are moving from a, a, a school to a different school and you don't have friends you just have to make new friends and maybe those those people inside the school they are not very friendly or maybe the people in, in, the, in the next city that you visited, they are not friendly. So it's a difficult situation for me to start my new year or my new, uh, or to live in a new home while the people around me are not friendly. It's a difficult situation. How can people adapt to these, to these situations? How they can live in these situations and survive? how they can and the most important thing we are going to focus on is how they are going to survive with their mental health mental health it means their psychology their feelings their thoughts because the most thing that people get damaged with is your psychology is your feelings so when your feelings are hurt it's very difficult to fix it so what the people can do when they go for a difficult situation they try to survive and to what to cure their feelings uh, and to protect their feelings from being harmed. So in this story, we are going to have a character. This character, his name is Wesley, and he's trying uh, to survive a difficult situation that he's living in. This situation is inside the school. And maybe the, you can attribute to that thing yourself because right now you are in the school, sometimes uh, maybe the last year and maybe in the upcoming years, when you go to the compass of the school, sometimes you can face some situations, like some people could be mean to you, some people are bullied, some people are just not friendly, you know? So how can you survive these situations? Will you be, I know. just be sad and stay at home and say, I will not go to school again? Or you have no, to I face know. it and to be a strong person? So what do you think? We have to be- We have to like- strong. Oh, yeah. Hot Tyler. Like, for example, like someone was like burned or something and his or her face was not really good. So people would bully them. Just let let the the person who's like burned or something, just let them like 
be strong and tell them it's fine. I like my face the way it is. Excellent. You know. So you have to keep your mental health and you have to protect your mental health and your psychology not to be affected by those people. If you can talk to somebody maybe, or maybe you can make something from your imagination just to survive and to go over all of these difficulties. This is what our character actually did in this story. He faced a horrible situation inside the school and he couldn't face it alone. So he had to escape to his imagination just to live in another word, a word from his creation. And then he didn't live in the imagination, no. He created a real world and he called it Whistlandia. What is the story of Whistlandia and who is Wesley and what happened to Wesley? This is what we are going to learn together. Go please to your books on the page 26 in the reading books. Okay. And let's start the story. This is the boy, Wesley, and the story, Wieslandia. How can people adapt to different and difficult situations? But before that, let's have this uh, small video. <clears throat> How do people adapt to difficult situations? Change behaviors is one way that people adapt to difficult situations. Consider a time when you have faced a difficult situation, such as changing schools, healing from an injury, or working through a family problem. It probably took courage to face the situation, the conviction that you could change it or could change yourself, and the flexibility to find new ways to do things. Difficult situations have forced scientists to look into new ways of exploration, and in doing so, they have discovered many important new solutions, such as cures for diseases and even new areas of study. So, adapting to difficult situations may result in a personal transformation or scientific advancement. This week, you will learn that adapting can mean creating ways to make things easier, having courage, determination, and flexibility, and making changes to deal with new situations. How have you adapted to a difficult situation? Okay, while we are reading, we are going to keep this question inside our minds so we can think about the character, how he faced his situation, that he went uh, through and how we can apply that, that on our own life and how we can adapt to difficult uh, conditions and situations in our own lives. Okay, go first for the page 28. And this is Wesley. He's playing inside his room. You see his room? How messy is it? So let's- Of course he's miserable, moaned Wesley's mother. He sticks out like a nose snapped his father. Listening through the heating vent, Wesley knew they were right. He was an outcast from the civilization around him. He alone in his town disliked pizza and soda, alarming his mother and the school nurse. He found professional football stupid. He'd refused to shave half his head, the hairstyle worn by all the other boys, despite his father's bribe of five dollars. Passing his neighborhood's two styles of housing, garage on the left, and garage on the right, Wesley alone dreamed of more exciting forms of shelter. He had no friends, but plenty of tormentors. Fleeing them was the only sport he was good at. Each afternoon, his mother asked him what he'd learned in school that day. That seeds are carried great distances by the wind, he answered on Wednesday. That each civilization has its staple food crop, he answered on Thursday. That school's over, and I should find a good summer project, he answered on Friday. Okay. Let's go next. As always, his father mumbled, I'm sure you'll use that knowledge often. Suddenly, Wesley's thoughts shot sparks. 
His eyes blazed. His father was right. He could actually use what he'd learned that week for a summer project that would top all others. He would grow his own staple food crop and found his own civilization. The next morning, he turned over a plot of ground in his yard. That night, a wind blew in from the west. It raced through the trees and set his curtains snapping. Wesley lay awake, listening. His land was being planted. Five days later, the first seedlings appeared. You'll have almighty bedlam on your hands if you don't get those weeds out, warned his neighbor. Actually, that's my crop, replied Wesley. In this type of garden, there are no weeds. Following ancient tradition, Wesley's fellow gardeners grew tomatoes, beans, Brussels sprouts, and nothing else. Wesley found it thrilling to open his land to chance, to invite the new and unknown. The plants shot up past his knees, then his waist. They seemed to be all of the same sort. Wesley couldn't find them in any plant book. Are those tomatoes, beans, or Brussels sprouts? asked Wesley's neighbor. Flip the page. None of the above, replied Wesley. Fruit appeared, yellow at first, then blushing to magenta. Wesley picked one and sliced through the rind to the juicy purple center. He took a bite and found the taste an entrancing blend of peach, strawberry, pumpkin pie, and flavors he had no name for. Ignoring the shelf of cereals in the kitchen, Wesley took to breakfasting on the fruit. He dried half a rind to serve as a cup built his own squeezing device, and drank the fruit's juice throughout the day. Pulling up a plant, he found large tubers on the roots. These he boiled, fried, or roasted on the family barbecue, seasoning them with the plant's highly aromatic leaves. It was hot work tending his crop. To keep off the sun, Wesley wove himself a hat from strips of the plant's woody bark. His success with the hat inspired him to devise a spinning wheel and loom on which he wove a loose-fitting robe from the stalk's soft inner fibers. Unlike jeans, which he found scratchy and heavy, the robe was comfortable, reflected the sun, and offered myriad opportunities for pockets. Okay, until this part, we are going to stop right here. Let's go back to the story to understand what is the meaning of this and what is this story talking about. At the beginning here, uh, at the page 28, the story starts by the talking of his mom and dad. They are talking to each other in the salon or in the living room. And he was in his room right here, listening to them through what, through the wall. They were talking to each other and the mom, she said, of course he's miserable, moaned Wesley's mother. He sticks out. She's talking about her son and she says that my son is miserable in the school. She is complaining about her son that he's miserable in the school. Okay, he doesn't like the school and he always try to to run back from the school to come to the house and to play in his room. Like you see his room right here. It's a messy room. He's playing alone and he has no friends. And he's so miserable to stay in that uh, school or to make any friends because all the friends right there, they don't like him that much. Why? They think that he is weird. He is like, he he is not... He is not like the uh, um, the usual kind of students. He is not listening to them. He is not uh, talking to them. He is not interested in the things that the other people are interested in. So the other boys didn't like him that much. So in, whenever he goes to the school, he will be bullied in there. The, the people would be mean to him. They would just try to push him out of the school and he runs back to his home every day. Now his mother tried to have a solution, but she doesn't know how to help him. Why? Because most of the time, the child inside the school, it's his responsibility to, to try to adapt to the school. Why? Because now it is your life. I can't come instead of you and live instead of you in the school. Of course, you are the one who is going to 
to face those people every day. You are the one who's going to have all of these subjects and learn. I learned myself, I finished the school, but now it is your time. You have to be responsible. You have to have the courage to face those people who hurts you, to reply to them, to be a strong person, not a weak person to sit in the shadows or run from them. So the mother, she is saying, of course he is miserable. I know he's miserable because he sticks out. What does it mean sticks out? Sticks out right here, it means that he always appear from a group of people. Appear in which way? Appear in a way that he, he doesn't fit with other people. He doesn't know how to be like the usual uh, kind of students. When it, whenever he goes to the school, he doesn't cut his hair like the other boys. He doesn't like the soccer game in the first place. He, he thinks it's a stupid game. He doesn't like the subject that they are teaching in the school. And he doesn't like to participate. So he's all the time he's bored. So nobody likes to be around him. He sticks out, which means that he is different. He is weird. So the, man, the, the father, he agree with the mother and he say, yep, like a nose. He is, he is sticks out like a nose. So everybody in the school would uh, figure out that this boy is different and there's something different about him and he's not comfortable to be around, okay? So now he listened to his father and his mother. He know that it's hurting to hear this from your dad and mom, but actually when he thought about it, he thought like, yes, my mom and dad are really uh, correct about what they're saying. Because really, when I think about it, I don't like the soccer game. I think it's a stupid game. And I don't like to cut my hair like the other boys because I like my own haircut. And I don't like the pizza and the soda like the other boys. And I don't like even the houses inside this neighborhood. I think that everything around me is boring and not nice as, as much as I like it. So that's why every, everywhere he goes, he makes sure that everybody know that he doesn't like it. That's why the people feel he is arrogant. You see what he's doing? He is feeling that I don't like to play soccer. I don't want to sit with you. I don't want to cut my, to cut my hair like you. I don't want to eat pizza or soda. I don't even like these houses that, that we have in here in this neighborhood. So all the other people, what they feel, they feel he is arrogant. He is being arrogant he thinks that he is better than them the other people nobody likes someone to feel that they he is better than them that's why they try to what to come after him every day and to make him uncomfortable in the school now he tried to think about it what can i do what can i do nobody likes me in the school i don't like the school and in the home i am i am alone i'm working alone and i'm studying alone and if I stay the whole year like this, I would be miserable the whole year. So I have to have a solution for myself. So now what he will make the, what the solution that he would have, what do you think? Hmm? Um, I know. Yes, Feirouz. Um, he would tell them he will change. Change. Maybe he will change his behavior, you mean? To be more friendly? Yeah. Okay, if I lose, she said maybe he will change. Okay, what, are, what about and the other also, hmm. Can I tell you also something? Um, so they're like bullying him only because like he's, he, he's not like them? Yes, they are bullying him because he's not like them and he doesn't like the things that they like. They feel like he is... A, okay, a this is opinion. Uh, yeah, they feel that he's a person he, uh, who feels himself better than them. He is arrogant, يعني مغرور. So that's why they don't like him. They say, "Why do you think you're yourself better than us? You are not better than us. Come, let let's uh, let's hit you." And they come after him every day after school. Okay. So Feirouz, she say she has okay. a, a very interesting um, idea. She said maybe right now he will change. Do you think he will change? He will yes. be friendly. He will be more friendly. Ha, huh, Jana. I don't think he will change. I think he and will. And then be... at the last thing, they will like I like him. Okay, Fairu, she said maybe he will change, and maybe at the end they will like him. What about you, Jana? What do you think? Maybe he'll do another thing, but I don't think he will change. Okay, Jana, she said I don't think he will change because he will adapt with other friends. 
uh, Tala, she's saying he will adapt with other friends. Like, like how he will adapt? Like yani he, he will adapt with his friends that are in school. Like he will maybe like uh, try to like uh like be like their opinion or like let them be like their opinion, I guess, or like let them love his stuff that he loves, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is what will happen. Actually, uh, usually in this situation in the real life, what what girls do or what the boys do usually, they try to bring a gift for the for the class or for their friends. Yeah. When they bring a gift, the other people will like him more, and this will open conversation between them, and then they will communicate more. This is a good way to do that. But actually, <laughs> our character Wesley is a different person. He will not try any of the things that you said before. He will or try maybe... something very, very different and unusual to anybody. And this came to his mind by his dad. His dad said to him, why you don't like the school? He said, I don't feel that I will take any benefit of the school. Then his dad said something. I am sure you will use that knowledge often. He said this word for him. He said that I'm sure that one day you will use all of this knowledge that you have from the school to use it one day in your life. And this idea snapped in his what is in his head. And he said, yeah, that's correct. And instead of waiting until I grow up and use this knowledge, why I don't use it right now and create my own world that I like. Since I don't like the environment that I'm living in, I don't like the school, I don't like the houses that are around me, I, I like my own environment, then let me make my own world and my own land. And then it started in his mind to grow little by little. At night, he couldn't sleep. He was thinking about his land and what he can do with that land. Then the next day, he took the knowledge that he, the, he took it from the science and he took some seeds and he went to the garden behind his, uh, his house. And he started to plant some of the seeds that he took from the kitchen. And he thought to himself that I will grow some vegetables and some crops and I will make my own crops. Then when I make my own crops, then I will make my own food. I don't like pizza, I don't like soda, then I will make my own food that I like. Then this is how he adapted. He didn't change, he didn't bring gifts, nothing. He said, I'm good this way, I, I feel that I'm, I'm comfortable with myself, I'm not arrogant, I just have my own thinking. And I don't think it's a bad way to think differently from other people. Yes, they don't understand me, but I will make them understand me when they see how I think. I will show them how I think. He started to show that in his garden. He started to plant some seeds and crops. And he, he wanted to make what? He wanted to make some tomatoes, beans, Brussels sprouts. And he wanted to have these, these seeds and crops to, to eat it every day. And then when they started to grow up, after five days, the seeds became growing, 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 and becoming bigger. After a while, they become what? He has already tomatoes, beans, Brussels sprouts. But between these bushes, other plants became to exist. Not only the beans and the tomatoes, other plants, other fruits. SubhanAllah, when you have a garden of, or if you have a farm, usually when you try to plant everything, anything, for example, tomatoes or uh, cabbage or anything, you will find some other bushes or other plants that are growing beside it. Alas? So this person, when he started to plant, other seeds and plants started to grow. Not only vegetables, but now he has fruits and different kind of fruits. Some of them are purple, some of them are orange. And he started to eat from that uh, farm that he made. Now the farm grow bigger and bigger and his neighbor came to him and he said, well, better to cut your farm. I don't want your farm to come through uh, and over my farm. He said, don't worry. My farm will not come over your farm because my farm is very arranged. I know how to take care of it because I have the knowledge of that. And my own beans and my own seeds will not grow more. I know how to take care of it. Now, all the other neighbors right now, they become so curious when he started to take the crops and to take the food, vegetables and fruits of that farm. And he started to drink from it. 
he started to make his own breakfast. He didn't uh, uh, take the cereal breakfast that he took before. Now he take his breakfast from the fruits that, that he take from that, uh, from that farm. All the other people, his mom and dad and other neighbors, his friends even from the school, these are friends from school. You see how they cut their hair? This is why he doesn't like to cut it the same. They cut, they cut half of their hair yeah. and half of it no. So he doesn't like his, it. His hair is better. Yeah, his hair, hair is better. But they don't see it this way. They see that you have to be like us or not different from, the, from us. How he can adapt, he say, well, if you don't accept me, I will make my own world. I don't have to be like you. I will make my own world with my own okay. conditions and rules. And he was clever. I can say that Wesley is not like any other person that I ever met because he is clever. He is smart. He said, like, I'm different, but I like my different. My different is good. I'm clever. I'm a clever person. So why should I be like the other stupid people? No. I will make my own farm and my own world. If they like it, they will come to communicate with me. And this is what happened. Those people who used to hate him, actually now when they find all of this farm and all of these they crops, they, they become to, uh, to envy him. They become to envy him, like how he could do that. We never tried to plant any seed. How he have all of this farm, even his mom and dad were surprised. Wow. Now we didn't have any garden. Now we have a whole farm behind our house. Wow. Not only this, not only he's eating from those crops. Now he make a what? He make a loom. Okay. What is the loom? Loom is, is a type of device that you bring some of the plants and the fibers of the plants. Okay. And you try to make it as a material or cloth. This is the null, the device. And this is how we make it as a cloth. This one right here this is how we he make it as a cloth so he used all the knowledge that he have from science from math from even english from uh, social cultures uh, he used all the knowledge that he has to make his own world now he took the fibers he made it with the loom and tried to make it as a cloth and then he made his own cloth you see this robe that he's wearing here he made it by himself and this hat yeah. also. It's hard. It's hard, it yeah. Hard. It's not, it's so not an hard. easy job. But the thing is, because he likes his word, he searched for the information and used this information to use it to create his own world. And now, what will happen next? What do you think will happen next when we complete the story? His friends will, uh, will continue not talking to him and not playing with him or do you think that no, he'll, he'll, miss, I told you what will happen they will like miss, him <laughs> yeah because his weirdness is um nice is nice like weird but nice his weirdness is nice and unique so it made other people curious right and jealous they want to know more they want to be like him now and instead and of, this of disliking him now they like him right yep Okay, let's see next. This way, he, he hmm. does not like pizza. He doesn't like pizza. He's, he's he does dead. not like pizza. Oh. Now I know why he is it weird. Everybody likes pizza. Wow. <laughs> I know, right? Yes, you know. I, I think like I think pizza. I think why he doesn't like pizza because as you can see right here, he's a healthy boy. He likes to take what? everything healthy. He likes to plant well, his sweet um, vegetable pizza. Yeah, I will. I will show you why he likes. Like he doesn't like pizza. pizza. Pizza with soda. I hate it. Pizza and soda is not healthy. Why? Because it has some oil. It has some dough, some flour. He likes the healthy stuff. So that's why he said, "I will plant my own food and eat it, even the clothes." He doesn't like the jeans. The pants what? skins. Why? Because he said it's not comfortable. It will what? make me hard oh, to move with it. But when this rope, it makes it, it makes it for me um, more comfortable to walk with it, uh, to uh, to jump with it, to do all my my uh, my work with it. And it is lighter than the jeans. You see, oh, the right. healthy boy. He's like the hippie people. Okay, my girls. <laughs>
<laughs> this is Wesley. And we are going to stop right here. Inshallah, next time we are going to complete the story together. But before we finish, okay. I will play with you a game with the vocabulary that we took today. Are you ready to play? Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, that's the play. Yes. Woohoo! I'm so excited. Okay. In this game, we have four bugs right here. And I have okay. a small bug like here, like a spider. This mm -hmm. one, this spider will try to escape from all of these bugs right here. Oh, every bug of them, they have a definition. Alas, and we will okay. have a word and definition. One of, of these bugs have the right definition. I am going to eat the right bug with the right definition. Mm -hmm. I will show you once. I have Iceland. Yeah? Okay. Iceland. What does it mean, Iceland? Uh, sorry, not Iceland, island. It's like a place where... Is it a body of land smaller than... A body of land smaller than a continent and completely a surrounded by water. Excellent. The... So, which bug is it? The, like, it's orange. 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 I'm going to it. I'm trying Yellowish to orange. it without being... Orange or yellow. Uh, this? Yes. No! <laughs> okay. Um... Strategy. Um, what does it mean, strategy? One or two or three. Skillful planning and management of anything. Purple. Which, which bug is it? Purple. Purple. Brown. Okay. I'm going for Brown. it. Hopefully, I will catch it. Brown. Come, 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 come. Yes. Brown. I wish yes. we can. Okay, now. I wish we can do it. Breakfast. Huh? Breakfast. Eating the Wait, first meal of the day. Eating blue. Blue. Eating blue. Eating blue. 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 Okay, Yala, I will give you the, the mouse right now. Remote control for Fairuz. Okay, Fairuz, Yala, it's your turn. Yala, move, 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 move. I move, oh yeah. The blue, the blue. The blue? Yeah. For this one, I am moving it right now. I am the spider. We're moving it. Try to move it, Yala. It's not moving. Why not? I don't know. It's Come on, moving. try right now. Doesn't work. Okay, let me try another person. Who who me, has the Amal. keyboard? Me. Okay, I will try you, Amal. Yeah. Just a minute. Okay, come on, Amal, try. I can't. You can't also? Bobby, try to move the mouse, can you? Okay, good. No. Press on play, press on play. You see play right here, press on it. And move the arrows now. Now you are moving, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, yellow. Yeah. Now breakfast, which one give you the breakfast? Blue, blue. Okay. Yeah, very good, very blue, good. Blue, blue. Now strategy, what does it mean strategy? Move, move. Oh, green, green. Green, go for green. the green. Go, 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 go. Yes, very good. Help her, girls. Yalla. Rustling. What does it mean, rustling, girls? Uh, uh, blue, 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 blue. Blue, 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 blue. 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 <laughs> I talk sound after just running together. Go, 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 go. Yes, very good. Excellent. Okay. Which one is this golden thing? Oh, blue. Oh, oh, seedling. Blue. Oh no, yeah, blue, blue. Seedling. Blue. It comes from seed. Blue. Okay, go, 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 go. Try to catch it. Plants grow from seeds. So yes. Yay, excellent. Okay, post right now. I'm to somebody else. Hurry up, hurry up. Post, post. I. It's so blue. Stop, Amal. And who has a keyboard also? Fairuz. Not me. I wish I had. Fairuz, yalla. I will try again with you, Fairuz, okay? Yalla, try to press on play and move. I, I uh, use the arrows and the keyboard. Yes, right? just to press on play first. Okay. Yalla, move it right now. Now it's moving, yeah. right? Strategy girls, huh? Which, which bug is it? 
strategy. It is the blue one. Hurry up, go for the blue one. Blue one, okay. Oh, go, my God. <laughs> you will stay the whole day there. Come on. Go down, down, come on, hurry up. You can, yes, excellent. Yes. Move, move, move. Now, livestock. Livestock, is it body of land or a feeling of discontent or fit to Wait, eat or farm animals? Huh. I can't read it while moving. You can't what? Can't read it while I'm moving. Okay. Okay, my girls. Farm animal. And then we have envy. What does it mean, envy, my girls? Oh, um. It's the orange one. Orange, orange. The, fe the orange. feeling. Go for the orange. Miss? Virus, virus, virus! Bye. Go up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. Ah, you're no. not there. <laughs> Catch it. Down, come on. No. Yes, excellent job. Excellent, my girls. Is it a fun game? Yeah. Love it? Okay, we have many games. Next time, inshallah, we are going to play it more. And until next time, stay safe and be okay, my girls. Bye-bye. Bye. See you tomorrow.